I'm headed down to the Tornado Alley area of the United States this year, and this time I'm bringing with me fellow meteorologist, Jack Little. We're just near Sunset, Texas, and we're hearing reports that there is another tornado on the ground, and we're being very careful because it could be very close to us. I'm watching a consistent uh, radar signature of a tornado in here. Right now, we actually can't continue down the road because if we're going to have a tornado, it's going to be right in front of us. If we keep driving down the road, we're going to be right in the middle of it. It's definitely going, guys. It's definitely going. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Tornado. Tornado, tornado. This is at least the second tornado that we've seen, and it is moving very slowly, so we can actually get up fairly close to it. We're going to continue on and get um, up and personal with this tornado. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Woodall standing just outside of Granbury where an EF4 tornado touched down in the area. We are in Oklahoma, uh, just north of a town uh, called Lawton, and you can see some of these cells are starting to go up. We're seeing our active uh, radar imagery as we travel in the car here. stuns me to see this level of, of absolute destruction. This gentleman was telling us uh, just a minute ago that this was a daycare and uh, his daughter runs it and she saved the lives of I think nine children in this daycare. This is uh, some of the most incredible damage I think I've ever seen. One of the reasons uh, that I chase storms is to find out exactly uh, how these storms work. Why do we have tornadoes that are this destructive? And so our chase is going to continue.